Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows activation error message 0xc004d302, where there's a software licensing service version. In, it's the non-core edition. So typically this has to do with some sort of corrupt file on your computer. And in today's tutorial, we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so you can see Windows Resource Protection did find CRUB files and successfully repair them. Go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer. So hopefully that's been able to resolve your issue. If you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, that's also very simple. All you would have to do is select File and then Import, and then navigate to the file location. So now that's out of the way, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by double clicking on the H key local machine key. And then you want to do the same thing for the software folder in here as well. Go down to Microsoft, so double click on that. Should be a Windows NT folder. Go ahead and double click on that. And there should be a current version folder in here. Double click on that one as well. And it should be a software protection platform folder right here. And now on the right side, you want to locate a value in here that says skip rearm. Go ahead and double click on that. So you want to set the value data from 0 to 1. So delete the 0, type the number 1. Base should be hexadecimal and then select OK. And then once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of the registry editor here. And open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match, command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. Select yes, and now you want to type in SLMGR space minus sign REARM. Go ahead and hit enter. 
Should say command completed successfully, please restart the system for the changes to take effect. Go ahead and select OK, and then you want to go ahead and close out of there and restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point you should be good to go. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.